Okay, we're in Microsoft Excel, and I'm gonna show you how to set up your worksheet so that when you double click on a cell or right click on it, it automatically changes color. So that will be the cell color and the font color. Now to achieve this, you are going to need to save your Excel workbook as a macro enabled workbook. And to do that, you just go to File, go to Save As, and you need to make sure that your file type is Excel macro enabled workbook. Right, your next step is to right click on the Sheet tab at the bottom of your screen there and then go to View Code. Now at the top here where it says General, in that drop down list, select Worksheet. And then over here in this drop down list where it currently says Selection Change, from that drop down list, select Before Double Click. So this is an event essentially double clicking in a cell is seen as an event in Excel and you can run code based on that event. Now this code down here where it says worksheet selection change, you can just delete that. This is the code that we want to work with. Now between these two lines, your first line of code needs to read as cancel equals true. Now what that will mean is that if I double click in a cell, rather than going into edit mode in the cell, it's going to do what I want it to do, which is change the color. So it's canceling the default behavior of double clicking in a cell. Then on the next line, you write target dot interior. You'll see that in the IntelliSense list. Dot color space equals RGB open bracket. Now you can basically set up any color here just by entering your red, green, and blue values, your RGB values. Now, just to get us going, I'll enter values for red. So that's 255, comma, 0, comma, 0. And then I'll close the bracket. So that's going to change the background color of the cell. If you want to change the font color, you can write something similar target dot font dot color equals RGB, open bracket, and I want this to be white. So I'm gonna enter 255, comma, 255, comma, 255. So eventually I'll show you how to work out what the RGB values are for different colors. So at the moment, when I double click in a cell, the background color of the cell is gonna go red and the font is gonna go white. Now, when I right click in a cell, I want different colors to be applied. So what we need to do is come down on a new line and where it currently says before double click in that same drop down list, select before right click. I'll just get rid of the space there. And what we can do is copy what we've currently got in the first macro and paste it into our new macro. So at this point, I'm gonna show you how you pick a different color color that you don't know the RGB values of. Now I'm just going to temporarily minimize the Visual Basic Editor. And in Excel, you've got these two buttons here. This one, as you probably know, changes the background color of the cell. This one changes the font color. So we can use either of those buttons to look at RGB values. So I'm going to go to the little drop down there for the cell color, and I'm going to go down to more colors. Now say I wanted a green color when I right click on a cell. So what I might do is select one of these green colors here. And then if I go to custom, it'll tell me what the RGB value is for that color. So it's 0, 0040. So I need to remember that. Come back to my Visual Basic Editor and I'm going to change the values for the background color. The RGB value 0, 0040 and I'll keep the font color as it is. Okay, so for the moment, that's how we'll leave the code. And we'll just close the Visual Basic Editor and we're back in our Excel workbook. So now if I double click in a cell, you can see it goes red. And if I right click in a cell, you can see it goes green. Now what we need is some way of turning this color mode on and off. And that's where this cell is gonna become useful. What we want here is a drop down list that says on and off. And we want the double click or right click 
behavior to apply color only if this says on. So first of all, we want a drop down list here. So if we select that cell, go to the data tab, in the data tools group, click on the data validation button. In the allow list, select list. And then in the source box, type on, comma, off. Click on OK. So now I have a drop down list, off and on. So now I need to adapt my code so it only applies these colors if cell D1 contains the word on. So I right click back on my sheet tab, go to view code. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter an extra line above cancel equals true. So I'm just pressing enter there, go back up to the blank line and I'm gonna start with the word if and then range, open bracket. And I need to put in the address of that cell, which if you remember is D1. So range, and it has to go in quotation marks, D1 equals on, and on also needs to go in quotation marks. Then I put the word then, and then what I would normally do is just indent the lines of code that will be run if this condition is met. To indent those lines, all you do is select them and then press the tab key on your keyboard. Then. After those lines of code, I'm gonna create another blank line and I'm gonna outdent, so that shift and tab on the keyboard. And then I'm gonna write end if. Now I need to do exactly the same down here. So I'm gonna copy that line of code and enter it above the existing lines. I'll indent these lines of code, come down here and put end if. So then I can close the Visual Basic Editor so at the moment we know if we double click in a cell, it becomes red. And if we right click in a cell, it goes green. But if I change this to off, double click in a cell, it goes into edit mode. It doesn't change the color. And if I right click in a cell, it just shows the shortcut menu. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.